Hey guys, this is Josh back at it again with a longer form content with the, you know, what I'm saying the bangers, you know, what I'm saying good videos. So um, yeah, I really wanted to do this video basically on my waves before my waves now, like mistakes that I've made, like just kind of tips that you can learn from me, so you won't have to go through the same process that I went through on the mistakes part. You can get strictly into the progress. So this is what I'm making this video for you guys, um, just to give you some tips and tricks, and then kind of like common areas that I do see in the wave community or just common area areas that I've done myself. So this is going to be a good video. I'm going to show you and I'm going to go in detail of like what I've done wrong and then also go into detail on what, what you can do right and how to improve. And then I also want to get into different tips that I do see on like shorter form content like TikToks because even though the, the content is shorter, it's not really giving you everything you need to know. And that's where I come in at. So that's why I'm making this video for you today. So if this is something that you're interested in. Give this video a like. If you have any questions, definitely leave any comments down below in the comment box below. And uh, let's get right into it. So as for my hair before, my hair, my waves before were... I would say my quality of my waves were really, really good. But one of the things I was missing uh, was a quality barber. If I could give any new waiver any advice, it's just working with a barber consistently and working with a barber that's gonna consistently cut your hair the same way, cut it the same length. So that way you can grow with your barber and also grow with your waves. If you look at my videos before, my waves were a lot more poofy or my hairline wasn't even as consistent. It was just kind of like all over the place. And that's just one of the things you deal with if you're living in, uh, let's say on the outskirts of a city or if you're living somewhere further than the city, like if you live like an hour away or 30 minutes away, sometimes that's something you deal with. You have to have like kind of like backup barbers and you have to work with a barber to give you that cut that you like. And then uh, also too, you have to be very, very honest with your barber just in case your barber gets comfortable with you you know that can decline in your cut so that was something that i felt like i should have worked on a lot better it's just working on a better barber because that is going to give you better longevity for your waves it's going to give you more consistent waves throughout the year and that's something that i struggled with completely it was just like i didn't have the same cut my waves were just they were okay but i just felt like some just even more with the barber working with my crown and understanding my hair texture that was something i'm missing so that's something i recommend to you to get into and to look into because working with a barber is going to give you less headache and you will not be as upset as much also too uh one other good point that i wanted to add to um just a good tip that i've learned throughout the years and me having my channel is just wearing a do-rag consistently i think that sometimes gets overlooked with a lot of waivers because a lot of times waivers are focused on forks and like patterns and everything which is i understand that but a lot of waivers do not really emphasize and stress the point that you have to wear your durag every day and every night, because if not, your waves consistently move, your hair consistently move, and your hair consistently changes. But wearing a durag and having that pomade to lay down your waves is important because your hair is gonna curl back up if you don't. And I just feel like that's a point that's missed a lot of the times. And I just feel like a lot of people do not talk about that. Even on TikTok, you gotta watch people and I have my favorite waivers I watch on there, but they never really talk about, um, you know, in every video wearing your do-rag. Because if not, your waves are not gonna be laid. It's not gonna give you that look that you're looking for. And it's not gonna be as smooth and as silky as it could be. And that's what I'm saying with my older videos, I had to learn that through trial and error. It was just like, it's not really the quality of do-rag, but it's the consistency of how often you wear your do-rag like i feel like that's just not talked about enough and then um a lot of times people are wondering about why their waves aren't as shiny or as, as silky it goes into the hair quality because the more times you wear your do-rag the better your hair quality is because the healthier it is and then the fact that your hair is laying down you know what I'm saying it has added moisture for the products that you're using and then also has that laid down look for the pomade to hold everything together and then that durag just sets it on top because when you go to sleep it can fall off but just think about if you didn't have anything for like weeks at a time like your waves just will not show up as you would like them to you know what i'm saying it's not gonna be as perfect or it's not have that flawless look or it's not gonna have that perfect crown you know what i'm saying that's just important i just feel like a lot of people do not talk about durags enough and not focusing more on the type of durag that somebody gets like design and everything but just consistently wearing a durag 
whether it be a velvet, a silky, a satin. Just wear it every day. I just feel like that's just not talked about enough. And in the black community in general, just having that wrapping your hair up, like that's just a thing for us. We just do that. So that's something I wanted to uh, expound on and really tell you guys to look into that. Uh, another thing too is um, a big mistake in the wave community is getting controlled by your hair. Like in a sense of like not trying out different fades and not trying out different hairstyles, different designs and everything. When you're working with waves, you don't have to specifically do 360 waves. I know 360 waves are very, very popular, but you can go 180. You know what I'm saying? You can go 180, you can try 180, you can go 360 if you want something more advanced. But if you like 180 waves, do 180 waves. I feel like a lot of times people get wrapped up into like what other people like. And I feel like that was a mistake for me was because it was just like, I was starting out for 180 waves, but it was like people just weren't used to that style a couple years ago, or they just weren't really used to how it looked. So my main thing is just like, if you like 180 waves, go for what you like. You know what I'm saying? If you like 360 waves, go for what you like. Like you shouldn't not do a certain hairstyle because it may it's not as popular. So. I feel like a lot of people with 360 waves, they could have been a better waiver if they started 180 waves first and then transitioned to 360. You know what I'm saying? So I think that 180 waves is a good starting stepping stone when you're doing waves. But you know what I'm saying? If you do like the hairstyle, keep it. You know what I'm saying? If you do like the higher fade, go for it. You know what I'm saying? If you are in the military, that was another thing too. If you are in the military, you can do the 180 waves. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't have to be limited to just 360 waves. I know it's popular. I know it gets the views. I know people are like searching it up, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? A lot of 360 waivers take a longer process or especially their beginners, they take a longer process because they haven't learned the foundation with the 180 waves. So I think that's a big mistake that a lot of waivers make and a lot of newer waivers make because they go straight to 360s and then they're confused and then they have a lot more forks. It takes longer to get the waves and then they give up. So that's another big mistake that I see all the time. Another mistake too that I see a lot or I've noticed a lot of people do and that I even guilty of doing it is not following a lot of waivers. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes like even on Instagram, I'm just like, because I do the YouTube channel, I'm not really too interested on the Instagram wave, like different waivers, but just following somebody who is consistently getting their hair cut, having a friend who has a lot, who uh, gets their hair cut often, or, you know what I'm saying, being in friends with somebody or you see somebody get a haircut weekly, it definitely motivates you to get your waves better. So I think that's something that I could learn from is just like consistently getting my hair cut just by having um, <laughs> someone having good waves consistently posting it. So I think that's another mistake. It's just that motivation part. It's just finding other waivers out there who are consistently keeping up with their waves, like subscribing to them, looking at their content, because it's gonna motivate you to put brush work in, get a better do-rag, get a better brush. So it's just like all about motivation. So I would say that is a big thing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the mistakes that I do see. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. That's the end of the video.